it is Tuesday and a beautiful summer day at City Park. Look at this gorgeousness. Photojournalist Jeremy Burson captured these images for us today. Meteorologist Jay Gale, share with a check on your forecast. Beautiful yet hot. I tell you that Jeremy, he knows what he's doing when he's shooting the weather. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could see how hot and beautiful it is. <laughs> but you can't see is there's a little less humidity. And there is slightly less humidity out there. Take a look at the satellite and radar picture. So not much rain across the area. There is a little little swirl there in the Gulf of Mexico, gener generating some rain in the Gulf of Mexico, not so much across southeast Louisiana and south Mississippi. And by and large, the whole region, the whole southeastern portion of the country, not seeing much rain. Take a look at uh, some of the early numbers from the Weather Service. 71 was the low in Slidell. That's fairly comfortable, right? 78 in Audubon, fairly comfortable, relatively. But 81 at the airport is not. We got that northerly wind, so that held up temperatures a little bit uh, early this morning. And this afternoon, all, that cl all the clear skies and all that sunshine didn't help much. 94 in Slidell, 95 in Audubon, and at New Orleans International. So that is way above the average of uh, 87 degrees. Now, moisture in the air. Here's a little graphic here and a little legend. You can see it. It is slightly drier along the coastal areas, a little more moisture. That's fairly typical. Like I said, there is some slightly drier air across the area right now. It's 95 in Hammond, 89 in Gulfport, and 94 at New Orleans International. Throwing the humidity, that 94 at the airport becomes 98, 96 in Hammond. So instead of being five to eight degrees above uh, the feels like temperature, being five to eight degrees above the actual air temperature, it's three to four. Technically, that's less air or less uh, moisture in the air. All right, so the wind speeds and the direction running about five to eight miles per hour, but it still has an offshore component. That is a dry direction. That's what we want. That's what we like. I think it'll last for one more day into tomorrow. As we go out to the tropics, we've got Carl and we have Lisa. Both tropical storms, both aren't going to be a problem for us. You can see uh, nice well circulation here. Thunderstorm activity not necessarily wrapping around that center. Carl, 40 mile per hour winds traveling to the west at 14 miles per hour. And then it hooks a right hand turn becoming a category two storm on Saturday before it becomes a category one hurricane. Again, staying out in the Atlantic, not going to be our problem. Lisa still way out there. Africa's just behind me. And as we take a look, 45 mile per hour winds traveling to the northwest at 12 miles per hour will strengthen to about 60 miles per hour. And that's, that looks like that's going to be about it for Lisa as Lisa stays in the Atlantic as well. So looking good so far as we continue through hurricane season. So high pressure in place through large portions of the country. You could see the absence of rain and clouds and all this brown. I showed you this yesterday. This is still the case. In the mid and upper levels, we have dry air in place, and that's going to last for a little while longer as high pressure maintains control. Notice we're not going to see much rain, although the model hints at maybe a couple of passing showers. Is it possible to get a stray rogue shower? Sure, but for the most part, we are going to be dry. And as we get into Thursday, a similar setup. This high pressure maintains control, and we continue with that offshore flow. So the next couple of days are going to be warm, not too humid. We'll say less muggy. Tonight on the North Shore, upper 60s, lower 70s. That's right. A couple of spots are going to be dipping into the upper 60s. South Shore tonight, I think many locations will be right around the mid 70s. Uh, places like the airport in Kenner, probably going to be closer to 77, 78, even maybe 79. Tomorrow, more sunshine. It stays hot, feeling a little less humid, still warm. Lower mid 90s once again, and your seven day forecast, leaving the rain out completely until Friday. Thursday, of course, the first day of fall. Not going to feel like it. As you can see, those temperatures, they're going to stay above that average of 87 right across the board. Then we're throwing between a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain to round out the seven day. Saints, of course, taking on the Falcons in a dome, hopefully with a victory after the game.